David Hay has pulled out of the Tyson Fury fight yet again. <sighs> this time, David Hay is claiming that he went through, was it five or eight hours of shoulder surgery and he was advised by doctors to retire. As far as I'm concerned, if David Hay ever fights again, or if he fights again within a year, then David Hay is probably the biggest liar and con artist I've ever seen in the sport of boxing. I mean, the stuff that he does, <clears throat> you know, if, if this, if he literally fights again within a year, I'm done with the guy. I wash my hands of this guy. Because look, you know, I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt after pulling out of the uh, Fury fight the first time. I thought it would be ridiculous for someone to cut their own eye only to fight, you know, maybe a Klitschko in February or March. That would, that would seem ridiculous. But now we've, we've found out that Vitaly Klitschko won't be running for president. All right. He won't be running for president. That came out recently that apparently he won't be running. And then all of a sudden, David Hay is injured again and pulls out of the, out of the uh, Fury fight again. Now, I understand that the monetary logistics of him taking on Klitschko and turning down Fury don't really make sense. He'd make more money at this stage fighting Fury than he would fighting, a Vita fight, fighting Vitaly Klitschko because fighting Fury is getting 50-50. The fight's in the UK. Fury's a, a, a big name now worldwide. People know about him because of his mouth and because of his fight with Steve Cunningham. And he had a 50-50 deal there with, with Tyson Fury. It was a big money fight in the UK. He would have got 50-50 in the purse, 50-50 in the uh, worldwide TV rights as well as the UK TV rights, you know, pay-per-view. So... It was a bigger guaranteed payday against Fury than he'll get against Klitschko. Against Klitschko, people are going to turn against him. The UK public's going to turn against him. The whole world's going to turn against him if he does take on Vitaly Klitschko. You know, um, people are not going to want to, you know, watch him as much as they would have done previously because they know that if he fights Klitschko within a year, they know that his shoulder injury plus the cut was some bullshit. Yeah, that's what people are going to know. So literally, if Hey fights again. I'm done with the guy. I'm done with him. You know, I've never seen anything like it in my life. But if, if this is really David Hay pulling another stunt, my days, I've never seen anything like it before in my life. I've never seen anyone that audacious and, and tell such massive lies and go to such desperate measures to get out of fights and get the fights that he wants. I've never seen anything like it, if that is the case. I hope... And a lot of people are going to be saying to me, don't be so naive, hat man. But I hope that it's a genuine injury. And if it's a genuine injury, I don't want to see David Hay fight again. If he fights again, especially if he fights again within a year, I'm done with this guy. I'm completely done with this guy. And I've known for a long time that David Hay is someone that pulls shenanigans. And, um, but I never thought he'd go to the extreme. And I could never imagine someone going to the extreme of cutting their own eye. You know, to me, that's just it's, it's too much. I, I could never see someone doing something like that. It's too desperate, especially when the payday you'll get against Fury will be more, uh, a guaranteed more amount of money than you probably get against Klitschko, who's going to make you sign a slave contract and your popularity will be at an all-time low because you're pissed off the public and all that kind of stuff. I, I, you know, a lot of people are going to say, we told you so, Hatman. And that's fair enough. Maybe you did tell me so. We'll see if, if Hay fights. Um, but if, if he announces a Vitaly fight, I'm telling you, man, this guy, probably the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in boxing. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like I say, man, I, I just hope for the integrity of humanity <laughs> that Hay is actually being... I mean, it seems totally improbable that he could pull out twice from the same fight with different injuries. It seems totally improbable. These things have happened. In, in boxing but it seems very improbable so this this is looking so suspect right now it's just it's incredible so i don't want to see david hay fight again he better be announcing his retirement next and he better stay retired no miraculous comebacks no fight with vitaly none of that shit or i'll be trolling this guy for a year straight <laughs> i'm telling you my days so yeah there you have it folks um <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of told a lot of i told you so's big up ingram jones Ingram Jones, a lot of people are going to say, I told you so. Maybe you're right. 
We'll have to wait and find out if Hay fights again. And uh, find out whether you're right and whether I was wrong. We'll see, man. Uh, drop your comments below. I know this is going to cause a lot of controversy. A lot of people are going to have a lot to say about this. Drop your comments below. This is Hatman. I'm out.